I'm Mike Modal, I'm the tire specialist on the Red Bull 82 Toyota. And uh, what I do is I prepare and maintain the tires for the, for the 82 car during the course of the race weekend and or at test events. So how complex is that? It's obviously a lot more complicated than changing the tires on my sedan, right? Absolutely. It's, it's a matter of receiving the tires from Goodyear. And then what, what I do is I have to log in a lot of information to enable me to put the tires into sets. And I, I utilize the, the mobile demand lap, the, the tablet, to be able to do that. Some of the information is uh, I'll, ma I'll manually go through and, and size the tires, and then I'll, I'll indicate that on the tires. But these tires here in particular don't have a barcode on. When we receive the tires from Goodyear, they have a barcode on with a, a spring rate on, a sequence number, and then also the tires have a date code in. Our system needs all that type of information entered to be able to put the tires into sets so we can utilize them for practice and qualifying and for a race application. So you're using this while you're in the shop and while you're at the track? Basically, I use it here at the shop on occasion, majority of the time at the racetrack. So where are some of the functions that you do on the track? At the track, when I receive all my tires, I'll, put, I'll lay them out and then I will go down through, size the tires, enter the sizes, and of course I'll scan my my date code, my barcode for my spring rate, I'll scan my sequence number, barcode, and uh, enter my information for my date codes and my build, my build shift dates and also the D numbers for the tires. Once I assess all that lefts and rights in our system, I'll hit uh, create sets and this will create the sets for me, which enables me to be out in the area where I'm working on the tires and create the sets and then physically put the tires into sets of four from the information I'm, I'm receiving back from this from our database. Now we saw you on the track yesterday using instruments and managing the data. Can you tell us a bit more about that? What I do during, during practice and or during the race is uh, the crew chief and we have a crew chief and an, engi and an engineer with us at the racetrack or tests. I need to, to log information such as track temperature, uh, you know, the time that we go out and make a, a run, whether it be a practice run, and then also I need to, to log in uh, my cold starting pressures, and then as the car comes in, this has actually freed me up a bunch where I can go around the car and, and assess the, the hot tire pressures, log that information in, and also tire temperatures, and it's uploaded to the engineer and the crew chief instead of me having to pencil it in on a paper. Well, before I had this tablet, I had a, uh, a, a pad with uh, three carbon papers on it, a white, yellow, and a pink, and I would have to pencil in all that type of information. When I got near the crew chief and or get the information to him, take it to the trailer, physically hand that to him, him the crew chief or the engineer. They would have to, in turn, enter that data or wait for me to enter the data into our database into my laptop. Now they're, they're getting the information, every, our, our data system updates every minute. So they're, they're receiving that information almost as promptly as I'm gathering it. And so you, you also mentioned that you're not always in proximity. No. The proximity, I could be anywhere from eighth to a quarter mile away from, from the actual garage area where we're, we're we're practicing with the car. I'm mainly on pit road and or somewhere in the garage area. This enables me, it actually frees me up where I'm able to pretty much utilize two hands at all times. Uh, where a laptop is it's more cumbersome and in the past when I used a, a, a carbon type of paper I was exposed to elements and of course like on a, a damp day when I had a carbon paper you know, you're going to write stuff down and the dampness in the paper, and it, it, it all comes into play. But oftentimes when I do need to utilize two hands, and in a situation where we're under, at an, a race event, we're under a tight time constraint. Time is, is very precious. So I may just have to actually set this down somewhere on a tire or a toolbox and tend to the duties that I have to tend to. Several times, papers have blown away. I just go back to this, 
all the information is, is, is right there and you know I just pick it up and, and get on with what I was doing. That, that actually that actually can happen at the racetrack because pick it up. I do have a I do have a, a tire gauge where in a situation at Daytona my tire gauge was dropped on the ground and it pretty much uh, it shorted out. So I had to go to a backup. And let me see here. And it's working. <laughs> That's amazing. And the screen's clear too. I had dropped the tire gauge before and uh, actually the screen went to all crystals. The, the keypad area on, on this, this tablet, it, 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 it actually it helps me a lot where I'm able to actually go around the race car and punch in the, the tire pressure buildups and go around and get tire temperatures where I can just punch it in versus writing it on, on a, a tablet or anything like that. It, I, can, I can actually punch it in as I'm, as I'm walking around versus stopping and trying to write something down. Then also the function of the, of the scanner enables me to be out in the field and enables me to, to scan the codes on the tires versus having a scanner, uh, which we had in the past, and taking it back to the transporter, hooking it up to a docking station, which I had to do in the past, and then uploading that information into my my laptop and into our database where when I, once I scan all my information it's logged in, it's in our database, I create my sets, it's all here for me. I don't need to go through multiple functions to get to the point where I, I utilize it. Does that save you time? Oh, absolute, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's saved me anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half worth of time at the racetrack. Also, this, this enables me to digitally enter tire wear data information uh, as far as my alpha readings. And then once the tires are, are utilized and we need to scrape them and get a, a delta reading for our, our tire wear, it enables me to have the information right here and key it right in and not necessarily have to transport the information to the engineer or the crew chief. I can be out actually in the garage or in an area somewhere away from them and they'll receive the information to make decisions on you know front end, front end camber settings and adjustments and things of that nature that, that are pretty critical and we need to make them decisions in a, in a pretty timely manner and th this has helped get that information to them a lot quicker than I had in the past. We actually got in a situation here uh, about two weeks ago at, at Dover uh, where we had a little bit of excess, excessive tire wear on the right front. Uh, in the past, you know how we logged our information. This, this enabled me to get the tire wear information to the engineer and the crew chief a lot quicker. And our system calculates as far as how long we can go on tire wear. And uh, it, was a, it was a run where we ran 79 laps. And uh, our tire wear was that extreme. We pitted after 79 laps of wear and our, our right front tire was completely gone. So by them getting that information in a timely manner, may, it enabled them to make that decision to pit and, and actually not have a tire blowout due, due to wear conditions. It, it pretty much made the weekend there because if it was another lap or two, we would have been in the wall like several other cars were. Our computer programmer tells me that it can handle a substantial amount of heat. Uh, there, there'll be times when I go to the racetrack and, and go to prepare tires and I get there prior to scanning my tires. Uh, take for instance my race tires. When I go to prepare them, we could be in a situation and I've gotten in a situation where I've gotten to the racetrack and the tires on the stack not even being run were 168 degrees. The tires were. So that's the type of environment that I'm working in. So, and I have to set this down to, to actually physically do other things and, 
And for me to be able to have that out there and not have to shield it and or worry if, this, if the screen's gonna get messed up and or is this, this thing gonna like short circuit because it's overheating. And uh, it's, it's not the case because I've, I've worked in some, like Dover was pretty, pretty extreme heat, but although the winter will be, or the uh, summer will be pretty extreme as far as heat, uh, you know, it, it, I'm glad that it'll endure that.